toward Verizon on Narrows Bridge. Hi, this is Gail. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going across the Verrazano Narrows Bridge in New York City. First, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I do invite you to do so now by clicking the red button down below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a big like on the video. We are the hashtag Be Bodacious community and you want to be a part of it. Let's go. My husband and I are going to be here for a funeral, so I can't do a lot of video tips about the city. But I did want to cover the Verrazano Narrows Bridge because understanding this bridge will help you have a better trip to New York City. We're going to talk about the toll on the Verrazano Narrows Bridge and I'll give you some tips and hints. The first big tip that I have is just take it slow and easy and pay attention to the traffic signs. The second big tip that I have is you have a choice between the upper level and lower level of the bridge. The lower level will give you some more protection from the elements from rain, wind, and snow, but the upper level, that's what gives you the views of New York City and the harbor, as long as it's a clear day. Just choose the right lane for the deck that you want. Unlike some other New York City bridges, this one is cars only, so pedestrians can't walk across it. I'm pausing the video at certain points as we go, but don't worry, I'll put a video clip in its entirety about driving the Verrazano Narrows Bridge at the end of this video clip so you can see it all again. Expect tolls on New York City bridges. How much is the toll on the Verrazano Narrows Bridge? Well, for cars, it's $19. The Metropolitan Transit Authority has an easy pass to make life easier on residents of Brooklyn and Staten Island. Contact them for the most current information. And to make paying the toll really easy, they photograph your license plate as you go across the westbound lanes. The bill arrives in the mail in a few days for the toll for the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. A little souvenir for your time in New York City. The bridge connects Fort Hamilton in Brooklyn to Fort Wadsworth in Staten Island. The roads it connects are the Belt Parkway, which is at the very end of the bridge. Do not miss that exit as you come across into New York City or you will be driving around the entire New York City. I have done that and it was not fun. At the time the bridge opened in 1964, it was the world's largest suspension bridge. A stir was created when it was announced that this 4,260 foot suspension bridge required extra concrete to compensate for the curvature of the earth. But how do you spell Verrazano? And who was the Verrazano Bridge named for? Okay, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge was named after an Italian ex explorer, Giovanni da Verrazano. Now, he mapped the Atlantic coast and was the first one to get a ship into the New York Harbor. His name was misspelled originally for the signage on the bridge. Governor Andrew Cuomo signed legislation in October of 2017 and that's officially changing the spelling of the bridge. The signs are being updated as they have to be replaced due to forces of nature. Full name of the bridge is the Verrazano Narrows Bridge because it spans the Narrows, which is a body of water that links the upper New York Bay with the lower New York Bay in the Atlantic Ocean. The road going across the bridge is Interstate 278 with six lanes on the bottom and seven lanes on top to give you a little more opportunity for the great views that you get on days that it's not rainy or foggy. So now let me go ahead and play the video in its entirety. Just so you can enjoy the drive across the Verrazano Narrows Bridge in New York City.
thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so to be a part of the hashtag Be Bodacious community.